Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about how to use Freshdesk. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a ticket on Freshdesk and how to resolve it. We will also talk about Freshdesk, its features, membership plans and the sign up and account processes. So watch this video till the end to better understand all these steps. Freshdesk is an online cloud-based customer service software that provides help desk support with smart automations to get things done faster. It has been trusted by over 50,000 businesses like Big Bus, Pearson, Decathlon, Bridgestone, Aramex, Orderin and many more. If you hover your cursor on the Fresh Desk Products tab at the top navigation bar, you will see that Fresh Desk offers four types of products. First is Support Desk, which is a comprehensive help desk for exceptional customer service. The second one is Contact Center, in which you will get a reliable and smart call center solution for effortless customer experience. The third one is Omnichannel Suite, which will delight your customers with effortless omnichannel service. And the last is Customer Success, which protects revenue, increases customer lifetime value and strengthens customer relationships. To know about the features of Freshdesk, hover your cursor on the Features tab and you will see its major features like ticketing, collaboration, automations, help widget, reporting and analytics, security and integrations. There are many more features than these. To know more about them, just visit this All Features link. Now let's see the pricing and the membership plans of Freshdesk. Click on the Pricing tab at the top navigation bar. This is the pricing page. First, select your type of product from this drop-down menu. We are going ahead and selecting Support Desk. For Support Desk, Freshdesk has four membership plans which are Free, Growth, Pro and Enterprise. The free plan is suitable for startup businesses in which you can get up to 10 agents for free. The growth plan is at $15 per agent per month if billed annually and at $18 per agent per month if billed monthly. In this plan, you get intuitive industry-leading support for your growing businesses. The pro plan is very popular which is at $49 per agent per month if billed annually and at $59 per agent per month if billed monthly. In this plan, you get advanced automation for high performance. And lastly, the enterprise plan, which is at $79 per agent per month if billed annually and at $95 per agent per month if billed monthly. This plan is fully featured with bots for enterprise level support. Here we are continuing with the free plan. So we are going ahead and clicking on the start free trial button. This is the sign up page. You can sign up for a 21 days free trial by using your Google account or your email address. We are going to sign up with email. Here enter your first name, then enter your last name here, then enter your email address, then enter your company's name and lastly enter your phone number but this is optional. And once you have filled all these fields, then click on the sign up for free button. And after successful sign up on the next page, you will see a welcome message. To proceed further, click on the get started button. So this is your dashboard. Let's do a walkthrough of the interface. On the top of the page here, you will see how many days are left for your trial or membership plan. From this request demo button, you can request a demo of any feature which is not included in your current plan. From this recommended features button, you will get fresh desks recommended features based on your current plan and statistics. From this get started button, you can continue to set up your profile. And lastly, from this new button, you can create a new ticket, email, contact or company. From this search bar, you can search anything across tickets, contacts, solutions and forums. Next is the notification icon, which will show you alerts and notifications. Next is the schedule icon, which you can use to schedule your out-of-office message. 
Next is the Neo Marketplace, which you can use to visit and install different popular apps on your account. And lastly is your profile icon. If you click on it, then you can view your name and email address and you can also visit the pages of Keyboard Shortcuts, Profile Settings, Go to Customer Portal and lastly Sign Out. And from here you can also enable or disable Keyboard Shortcuts. In the left sidebar you will see tabs of Dashboard, Tickets, Contacts and Companies, Social, Solutions, Forums, Analytics and Admin. And at the bottom of the left sidebar, you will have the Freshworks Switcher icon. Now let's demonstrate how to create a ticket. Click on the New button at the top of the page and then click on New Ticket. From this page, you can create new tickets by filling some information. So let's start. Here you need to select the email address. Just start typing and it will get displayed if you have already added it in your contacts or else after typing the email address from here you can add it to your contact list. Next enter the subject. You can create this ticket according to your requirements. We are entering account upgrade. Now select the type of ticket from this drop down menu. You can choose between question, incident, problem, feature request and refund. We are going ahead and selecting feature request. Next, select Source. It is optional, so just leave it as it is. Next, select the status of the ticket. You can choose between Open, Pending, Resolved, Closed, Waiting on Customer and Waiting on Third Party. We are going ahead with Open. Now select the priority of the ticket. You can set the priority as Low, Medium, High or Urgent. Tickets will be resolved based on the priority set. The tickets marked with urgent are solved quicker than those set as low. We are continuing with the medium option. Next from here you can assign this ticket to a specific group of billing, customer support and escalations. But this is an optional field. Next is agent. From here you can assign this ticket to a specific agent but for that you need to first add that agent in your contact list and that is also an optional requirement. Next is the description box. You can use it to describe your purpose of creating this ticket. Next is the reference number. You can use it if you have any reference like a previous ticket or email. This is also an optional field. And last is the tags. You can enter some tags to easily sort it. This is also an optional field. And once you have filled all the fields, click on the Create button and your ticket will be created. On the Ticket Details page, here you will see the details of the ticket, like its subject, created by, username, description and others. Use this button to reply to this ticket. Use this button to write a note and use this button to forward this ticket to anyone. On the right side here you will see the ticket status, first response due and resolution due with date and time. From here you can update the type, status and priority of the ticket. And lastly here you will see the contact details section which shows the name, email and the timeline of the ticket and below you will see the drop down for time logs and to do. With this, we have completed our tutorial on how to use Freshdesk. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on any specific topic, feel free to comment below. We will see you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.